Welcome to Sparrow Class's video. This term we have been focusing on Stansted's past. We interviewed members of our local community, Mr Hyatt, Mr Goring, Mr Osborne, Mrs Parker and Mrs Holer. Here are some of our information. We have been doing information about the church, the old rectory and the church cottage. Here is some information we have found out. The church was built in the very early 14th century, around the 300 year old yew tree. An original block of the church is located northwest. The oldest tombstone dates around the 1750s. This yew tree was 300 years old while the church was being built and well over a thousand years old now. It has been supported by these chains since the Victorian times. This church is known to have been in existence since October the 8th, 1312. The Victorians restored St Mary's in 1883. These tombstones date back to 1715. This cottage was built in the 16th century and remains one of the oldest houses in the village. It had a further extension later on. This is the old rectory. This is where the vicar would live. This stopped in the 1950s because the church lost their money and the houses had to be sold. This is the old post office. We are going to be talking about it. Here are some interesting facts. In 1917, there used to be an old post office until the 1970s where it was converted into two single houses. This post box was made in the time when King George was alive. King George V was born on 1865 and died on 1936. In his lifetime, he ruled the United Kingdom and the British Dominions. We are going to talk about the park. The Black Hall successfully opened in 1884. There were four previous owners, a man, a company, a couple, and my man. When the Black Horse opened, the archway was the original door. The original door now was the entrance to the shop. The shop now is the gentleman's toilets. It has been open for a long time. The owner now is Brogan's Nan and Roberts. World War, the Home Guard stored their weapons in the cellar. There was also a air raid timer. After the Second World War, there was a phone to the government to say if there was a nuclear bomb coming. If there was, they would sign the air raid timer. In the late 1980s, the phone was removed. We have been researching the hook and hatchet, and this is what we found out. We found out that the hook and hatchet was an inn, not a pub. We found out that farmers stayed in the hook and hatchet whilst they watched their flocks in the field next door. On their way to the market, they stayed in the hook and hatchet. In the footprint of the hook and hatchet, there now stands the Holy House. Drover's Road, where farmers used to take their flocks to sell at market. Drover's Road used to lead to London, D Dartford, Maidstone, Tunbridge and many other places. The memorial was built by a Hungarian sculptor called Alice Strobel, but it was thought by Sir Thomas Hayler. It was bronze at first, but sadly it was stolen in 1964. They found the memorial in a duck pond and they tried to pull it out, but it was broken and heavy. So they made a new one, but, sat, but unfortunately it got stolen again in 1995. The second time it was stolen, the villagers spotted some scrape marks in the road. They bought a new one because they could not find the other one and it still stands today and also there are 63 names engraved from the memorial. This is Stansted School. Stansted School. This is the old stony part of the school. It's been here ever since the school was built. This is the love that they kept since the school.
Eagle Ape opened in 1874. The first pupil to be in the book was Emma Burnham. She was 11 years old when she started. We had an extension in 2005. We built a new classroom, which was for the reception. This is our playground. This is the old school bell that was used in 1874 to bring the children together and it is now used in our days. This is one of our quick routes we use, hopscotch. This is, this is the hall that in 1874 was used as a big classroom. Nowadays we use the hall for assemblies and PE. We use this hall for our lunches as well. These are our stairs up to the mezzanine floor and these are our windows. These windows have been here since the original building. This is our extension, it was built in 2000. And this is our second floor where some people come up here and extend their level. This is the Maypole. taken by the Japanese and put into a prison of war camp in 1941 to 1945. Stanley Moore lived here in Kitt's house. Stanley Moore named this house after his wife's name Kitty. Stanley Moore helped to invent the barcode. Here we are, standing in front of Forge Cottage where our former blacksmith used to live and work. The blacksmith was owned by Herbert Osborne during the early 19th century. Private A.D. Betts owned it before Mr. Osborne, but sadly died during World War I, aged 29. The most common thing for blacksmith was horseshoes, because stand means stony and step means face, so they were most effective. A blacksmith was the only place in that time where where people in that era could get solid items, for there was no plastic. Items such as armour, weapons and horseshoes. Forge Cottage was just built after the 17th century. We want to say a special thank you to Mrs Charlwood for helping us create the video. I hope you enjoyed. <laughs>